If you are having FPS drops, stutters and freezing in Fortnite and you have a completely unplayable experience in Fortnite with your low-end PC or high-end PC, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix all these problems in Fortnite with your any PC. Also guys, before starting this video, if it's your first time here, please subscribe and make sure to share your PC specs in the comment below of my this video and I will help you getting the best performance out of your any PC build. So guys, in the very first step, it is important to guys clean all the shadow cache of your GPU because if you have old or junk shadow cache, that will also cause the stutters and FPS drops in Fortnite. So for that, you need to go for your window search and search for disk and open up a disk cleanup system setting. Now from here you need to select out here your C drive or the drive where you install your windows. Mostly time it is C drive so now select it here and hit OK. Once you go to this pop up so here you'll find out this kind of the direct text shadow cache. So you need to go for this box and check mark here and this is 3.52 MB of the shadow cache. Now click on this OK button and delete these files from your PC. It will take few seconds for deleting all this temp file. Now in the next step, you need to download this Fortnite optimization pack on your PC. Link available down in the description. Simply go on my official website and download this pack on your PC. And here you can check it out here the result of the virus total. And it is just to ensure you this is a completely safe file to download. So guys, once you have downloaded this pack on your PC, you need to extract all these files on your desktop. And here you will find out best registry changes for the Fortnite. Then MSI Afterburner. The next here you find out run with affinity at the end here you will find out gear up boost txt file so in the very first step open up the first folder that is the best registry changes for fortnite so open up the folder inside you will find out disable core parking disable network throttling disable power throttling max pre-render frame and system responsiveness this is all the best settings for your windows in order to optimize your cpu your network your power and your fps so simply double tap on this registry and install all these files on your pc let me just show you how you can do it simply double tap here hit yes Hit yes again, click OK and install all this registry file on your PC. It is very simple to install it. Now for the next step here you will find out this exe file that is the MSI afterburner and you need to install the software on your PC. Simply double tap here. From here guys check mark onto the MSI box and uncheck the Norton 360 for gamer. This is the additional application that will be downloaded with the MSI. So we need only MSI afterburner. Now click on this next button and install MSA Afterburner on your PC. Now hit yes, click OK, click next, I agree the term. Now click next, next and simply install the software on your PC. So guys, when you are installing MS Afterburner on your PC, so you also need to install the Reva Static Tuner server on your PC. This is the important for optimizing and fixing the stutters and FPS drops. So now go for the next button. Again, click on I accept the terms. Click next, next, and install the Reva Tuner Static Server application also on your PC that will be installed with the MSI Afterburner. So guys, once the installation is complete, simply uncheck the show readme box from here, click on the finish button and guys, run the MS afterburner on your PC. And here you will find out this from the interface of the MSI afterburner and the only settings you need to change here in the MSI afterburner and this is completely safe. And that is guys, you need to go for this power limit option and set it onto the all the way onto the higher side. And make sure to guys check mark onto this automatic fan speed option because this will ultimately manage the speed of your fan in order to decrease the temperature of your GPU. And this is guys completely safe to use the settings. So now click on the apply button and apply these changes in the MS afterburner. After that, you need to go for your system tray, simply go for it. And you need to guys search for the Reva static tuner server. So press Windows key from here and search for Reva and you will find out this Reva tuner uh, static server. So guys, go for it and hit yes. And you need to open up this Reva tuner server on your PC. Now from here, you need to go for this global option and guys go for this add button and add here your Fortnite XE file. So for that, go for this PC local dixie program file epic games fortnite fortnite game folder binary win64 and here you will find out this kind of the launcher file of the fortnite so go for it hit open and add here your fortnite now next here is the most important part of this video in order to fix the status and fps drops and for that guys you need to cap your fps 
and guys for that you need to go for this frame rate limit option and from here you need to cap your fps your pc can easily handle so i have 240 hz monitor and also my pc can easily handle 240 fps so i will go for it and i will simply type here 240 fps and hit enter and guys that's it after that you need to simply go for this option and click on the minimize button and also minimize the ms after burner on your pc this both application will keep running in your background once you launch it now next you need to go for the next step and that is optimize or run with affinity for optimizing your cpu because another most important reason of having stutters and fps drops that is the high cpu usage so for that you need to go for the run with affinity application simply double tap here and guys this application will help us running the fortnite onto the highest potential of our cpu so for that go for the affinity tab from here go for select application and click on the three doors after that again go for this pc now go for local dc program file epic games fortnite fortnite game folder binary win64 and again add here your fortnite launcher file click on this open button now go for processor select affinity and set it onto the highest processor cores you have on your cpu now go for a shortcut name and simply name it like run with affinity fortnite or you can do anything then go for this one option and set it onto the maximized after that click on this create button and create here the shortcut on your pc now hit ok and now next time whenever you want to launch the fortnite simply use here this launcher file to running the fortnite with the highest affinity or the higher potential of your cpu now at the end of this pack here you will find out this txt file for the gear a booster and this is the tool that will help you to guys reducing your ping and improving your fps so for that simply copy the link from here search it in your any browser and download the gear a booster on your pc in order to getting the better fps and lower ping for free so guys use this link from the description or from this pack and download the gear a booster on your pc so guys once you have followed all the settings on your pc now in the next step we are going to optimize our windows settings so for that you need to go for your windows search and in the very first step we are going to disable our core isolation settings of our windows so guys search for core and open up core isolation settings now from here you need to go for this memory integrity and guys make sure to turn off the settings on your pc because it put a lot of load on your cpu and that cause fps drops and stutters in fortnite so therefore it is important to turning off the settings on your pc after that now simply close out of it now in the next step we are going to disable high precision event timer so for that right click on your windows start icon open up a device manager now from here head toward this option that is the system devices and click on the drop down and find out high precision event timer so guys here we got this device simply right click here and disable this device on your pc disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning so click on the yes button and disable this device on your pc for some people you might go to like a blue screen on your window so guys you can re-enable the settings on your pc by using the safe mode if you got any trouble but personally for me it is completely safe to use and help you a lot to getting the more performance out of your system and out of your cpu so now after that close out of device manager now in the final the last step of over this video we are going to optimize our windows power plan settings so for that go for your window search search for power and open up choose a power plan on your windows now by default it is on the balance but you need to go for this option that is the show additional plan click on the drop down and set it on to the high performance now go for change plan settings and set the settings onto the never now go for change advanced power settings and from here you need to go for hard disk and set turn off hard disk after onto the zero minute therefore we can stop using the hard disk when we are not using it now click on the apply button and hit ok and got the last settings is very helpful if you have installed your fortnite on ssd instead on your hdd drive so now simply close out of it now simply one time restart your pc therefore all the things take effect then launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of your pc i hope so you love it please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below and i will see you in the next one